What's up guys, it's Slava with SOS Kitchen and today we're making a turkey meatloaf that's both healthy and delicious. This meatloaf comes out so tender and flavorful. I don't know how to make a meatloaf sound or look sexy, but honestly, you should give it a try. It's great for like a hearty meal that tastes like home cooking and comforting, but it's actually like pretty healthy. You can even prep all the veggies ahead of time and store them in your freezer so that it only takes 10 minutes to get the meatloaf into the oven. As always, the recipe and ingredients will be in the description box below, but let's get started. To start out, you're gonna need some zucchini, mushrooms, carrot, and onion, along with either breadcrumbs or some day-old bread to make your own breadcrumbs from. What we're gonna do is chop all this stuff up in a food processor and then cook down some of the veggies so that we get rid of the extra liquid. Otherwise, your meatloaf is gonna come out really soggy. I suggest doing the bread first if you don't have breadcrumbs and then just putting it in a bowl to the side. This is what it looks like once the bread has been processed. After the bread, chop up the mushrooms, carrots, and zucchini into really fine little pieces. It's so much easier if you have a food processor. Of course, you could grate or just use a knife and cut it all up by hand, but the food processor makes it like 300 times quicker. In a nonstick pan over high heat, add in your pulse mushrooms. Don't add any salt to these veggies now or it'll pull out too much water. Cook the mushrooms over high heat until you see that most of the water has been cooked out of them. Remove them from the heat and then add them into the bowl with the breadcrumbs. Do the same thing for the zucchini and then the carrots. Let this cool in the fridge for 20 minutes if you have time, but if not, just stir it around to cool it a bit and keep it moving. Add in the grated onion as well. To the veggies, we're gonna add ground turkey and ground beef. I like to add the beef in here for that classic meatloaf flavor and for some extra fat. To that, add in an egg, black pepper, salt, garlic powder, celery salt, parsley, a pinch of red chili flakes, and some chili powder the flavorful stuff, not the hot stuff. Pour in a touch of mustard and some ketchup and then mix everything together really well. On a foil lined tray, put down your meat and shape it into a loaf. Put it into the oven for 25 to 30 minutes depending on if you let your veggies cool completely or not. While your meatloaf is in the oven, mix together your topping. In a bowl with some brown sugar, add in a touch of mustard and ketchup. And try not to get it everywhere like I did. Add in some black pepper and then stir it all together. After the first bake, take your meatloaf out of the oven and top it with a ketchup mixture. Slather it on thick, that's the best part, and then put it back into the oven to cook for another 20 minutes. When your meatloaf comes out of the oven, let it rest for at least 10 to 15 minutes before cutting into it and enjoying. The carrots add a bit of sweetness, the mushrooms add some meatiness, and the zucchini just kind of melts into everything else. Feed this to your picky kids or to your picky partner and feel good about putting something healthy and delicious on the table. Try it out today and let me know what you think. Thanks for cooking with me again. Bye.